Welcome back to the Buy or Skip series, where we dissect the biggest game releases so you know whether to take the plunge or give it a pass. Today we're diving deep into the haunting world of Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. If you're drawn to survival horror and open-world experiences, this game promises to push you to the limits. So, is it worth the thrill? Let's unravel the mystery and see what Stalker 2 has in store. At the heart of Stalker 2 lies a sprawling, eerie open world set in a radiation-soaked Chernobyl. The game doesn't just bring back familiar horror, but amplifies it with stunningly realistic graphics. From abandoned buildings to stormy skies, Heart of Chernobyl will have you questioning every corner. The developers have painted a chilling picture of a land twisted by disaster, brimming with mutated creatures, hostile factions, and... Well, let's just say, survival here is not for the faint-hearted. Expect to be thrown into an environment that adapts to your decisions and reflects your survival choices. This dynamic world keeps you on edge, where every step feels like it could be your last. But beyond the threats, the story digs deep, pulling you into a narrative that's as intense as it is haunting. This isn't your typical shooter. Stalker 2 merges intense firefights with strategic survival mechanics. Ammo is scarce, weapons degrade over time, and every action carries weight. Sound familiar? Yes, it's tough, but it's also incredibly rewarding. There's an RPG-like depth where you craft, manage, and strategize your way through each mission. And while it's tempting to charge in guns blazing, this world rewards patience, planning, and caution. The AI is no pushover either. Enemies and even NPCs react to your every move, forcing you to think ahead. You'll need to carefully manage resources, navigate a vast, interconnected map, and make alliances or rivals along the way. If you're someone who loves open-world shooters with survival elements, Stalker 2 might be your next big obsession. One thing that stands out here is the game's dedication to creating an immersive experience. Visually, Stalker 2 is stunning. Each shadow feels alive and each gust of wind adds to the eerie silence. And when it comes to sound, prepare to be spooked. The developers didn't hold back on the audio design from distant howls echoing through empty streets to the creak of decaying buildings. It's the kind of game that demands you play with headphones to feel fully immersed in its bleak, chilling world. Now, Stalker 2 won't be for everyone. If you're looking for a fast-paced, straightforward shooter, you might want to think twice, but if you're someone who loves atmospheric storytelling and survival elements and has a penchant for exploration and mystery, this game was crafted for you. This is a slow burn with high stakes and lots of immersion. Those familiar with the franchise will appreciate the homage to past installments, while newcomers will find a fresh horror experience. So, where do we stand? In the end, Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl, isn't just a game. It's an experience. It's thrilling, unnerving, and at times, downright brutal. If you're ready for a challenging survival horror that will have you rethinking your every move, this could be your next big adventure. But if you're more into lighthearted FPS action, this may be one to skip. Personally, I'd say, Try it for the atmosphere alone. The world of Stalker is unlike anything you've seen before, and Heart of Chernobyl delivers on its promise to leave a lasting impression. Thanks for sticking through to the end. If you're curious about more thrilling game content, check out the previous episode of our Buy or Skip series with Slitterhead, another dark, mysterious game that might just be up your alley showing on the screen. Dive in to see if you can handle that game's twisted world of terror. Until then, stay safe, stay curious, and keep exploring those virtual worlds. Brainy Bites, signing out.